Hello and welcome to week three of This Week in Campbell Football. I'm your host, Chris Hamar, joined by head coach of the Fighting Camels, Mike Mentor. And this show is powered by our friends at Fred Anderson Toyota. Well, coach, a 56-21 victory for you guys to open up the revamped and brand new Barker Lane Stadium. How are you feeling a couple days after that? Oh, well, you know, uh, wins always make you feel good. And so uh, we, we definitely excited about the fact that you get that. Um, I tell people all the time the air is a little bit fresher, you know, food tastes a little bit better, and everything is pretty good when you win a, a football game. And, and so, um, you know, everybody excited about the fact that you get the first one out the way, especially coming home the first game and, and opening that up with a win, very important to your season. Well, Coach, the name of the game was setting records. Uh, number one, there were 5,500 people uh, in the stadium, the second most uh, attendance in school history. And then you guys lit up the scoreboard. Second most points ever put up uh, in a half when you guys put up 40. And then overall, total yards, 659 yards of total offense. That was a record. 521 yards rushing. You have a stable of backs now, don't you? <laughs> well, you know what? That's what we want to do. We want to be a physical football team. We want to... Um, be able to run and establish the run. You know, I'm from the old school, and, and um, especially from the old school of Tom Osborne, 101. We're going to run the football down your throat and, and uh, make you have to defend it. And then when you do, we're going to hit you with big plays in the passing game. And, and um, you know, that's our formula, and it worked um, on Saturday. Uh, six of your uh, running backs, uh, two of those being quarterbacks, had over 45 total yards uh, running on the day. Your defense showed up as well, forcing five turnovers, including four interceptions. And you know, that's, that's the name of the game is get the ball uh, more than they get it from you, you get it from them. And, and um, to, to come out to have zero the first game um, was something that we emphasized, and, and that was one of the keys um, for the defense was to get turnovers, and they did it in a big way. And, um, you know, if we could do that, um, to make teams throw the football and, and intercept it, um, we, we're going to be a tough team to deal with. It was uh, quite a day, 56 to 21, the final score. Here's highlights from our friend Bill Priestley. Campbell football's home opener as the team takes the field through a tunnel of Campbell freshmen and a new home side of the stadium as the Fighting Camels would take on UVA Wise. First possession, Deshaun Jones takes off through the Cavalier defense for 59 yards, which would help set up the first score of the game, an eight yard run by quarterback Dakota Wolf for the touchdown. The ensuing kickoff, Campbell looked to make a statement and Torian Lynch makes the big hit. He emerges a little woozy, he would return in the game. The defense holds and the offense gets back in gear. Freshman Keith Goss scampers 20 yards for the score and Campbell goes up 13-0. UVA Wise would get a score back, but Campbell would answer the bell as Wolf would find Jabri Rittenauer for an eight-yard pitch and catch. Not to be outdone, Brian Hudson would enter the game and this one is coming straight into your living room. 72 yards to Ben Bowling and it's 26-7 and we're not even done with the first quarter. The defense would get involved. This play on fourth and goal completed a goal line stand that kept the momentum rolling the Camels way. One possession later, CU was in the end zone again as Hudson would find A.J. Artis for the score. Campbell would give up a TD, but the offense never lost stride as Dalton Dillon scores from five yards out. And the defense again comes up big at the end of the half as Avante Williams picks off Cavalier quarterback Cullen Lavoie and CU would go to the locker room up 40-14. The second half meant maintaining the lead, and that's exactly what happened as Ben Bowling would get his second touchdown on this sweep, and Jared Ozimek would tack on a couple of field goals, and Campbell would roll on in this one in front of a packed Barker Lane Stadium, 56-21. to The defense created five turnovers, including four interceptions, and CU tallied over 600 yards of offense in the win. Well, Coach, as often happens in uh, college football, you can enjoy that for about six hours. I know later that night you were breaking down tape, and you have to because a scholarship FCS team, the second one you guys have faced this year, comes in a very good 2-0 Charleston Southern team. Oh, they they very good. And um, so it's going to be a tough, tough matchup. Um, but I think it, it helps us become a stronger football team in conference. And, and that's what um, our fans have to understand. Um, is that these are preseason games, and, and we still trying to figure out what we can do and what we can't do. And, and it's not about the wins and the losses so much of can you learn to grow, become um, that first game with Valpo 
you're ready to go, you're hitting all cylinders, you know who you're going to be, you know the players that you have, and that's really what you're looking for. Uh, so Charleston Southern, they can run the football. I mean, they're an option football team, which is very difficult for uh, to plan for in one week, and they have a physical football team, like you said, scholarship football teams. They, they're going to have bigger, faster guys than us. And um, so, so, again, it's how do you go out there and how do you defend what they're doing and do you get better as a football team to get ready for that first conference game? Coach, uh, you've had your guys here uh, really since last fall and you've seen two full games. What are you starting to really like about your team? Um, you know what? We're we, we starting to get that smart and tough um, football player, and that's what we're looking for, and that's what um, we wanted to establish when we first got here. Um, you know, being understanding to understand the game, understand how to break down the game, understand your opponent, um, being smart in critical situations, um, and then being tough, being a physical group, um, going out to people, running the football, stopping the run. Right now we first in the conference in both of those stats because that's what we really want to do. We want to run the football, we want to stop the run, and um, I'm liking – the attitude of, I want to learn, Coach. Give, give me everything you got so I can learn to become a better football player. Well, the learning will continue uh, this weekend. Coach, uh, I know you've got to be excited with another home game because the atmosphere in the revamped Barker Lane Stadium was uh, off the charts this weekend. Oh, it really was. I, I mean, I, I don't think anybody imagined the electricity that was going to come from um, the new stadium, the fans coming in, the, the students on the field uh, right before the game. Um, all those things, I think, added to um, us going out there and playing the way that we played. And so hopefully we can get all that energy um, coming in um, to this week. We're going to need everybody. We're going to need everything um, to give us um, everything that we can have um, to play Charleston Southern because they, they're a great football team. Well, it's going to be a special home game, 6 p.m. this Saturday for the kickoff. Charleston Southern uh, comes into town. It's Military Appreciation Day. All military, active uh, and retired, gets a free ticket to the game. And if they want to bring friends or family, they can purchase tickets for just $5 more. Go to GoCamels.com for more information. For head coach of the Fighting Camels, Mike Minner, I'm Chris Haymeyer saying, if we don't see you at the game, we'll see you next week on This Week in Campbell Football.